So you know you will have $500,000 in your account when you retire. You want to be able to take monthly withdrawals from the account for a total of 30 years, and your retirement account earns 8% interest. How much will you be able to withdraw each month? So notice that we are taking money out every month, and that we're taking money out, which tells us that this is a payout annuity problem. We know in this case how much I'm going to have at time 0, uh, $500,000. We know my interest rate is 8%, that we're compounding 12 times, or taking withdrawals out uh, 12 times in a year, and we're going to do this for 30 years. And so I can go ahead and set up my equation. P0 equals uh, D, because I don't know how much my withdrawals are, 1 minus 1 plus 0.08 over 12 to the negative 12 times 30 all over 0.08 over 12. All right, and, and as usual, we'll go ahead and simplify these things a little bit, bit. So I can go ahead and calculate out this value here. I can calculate out that that's going to be 1.00667 after doing some rounding. Uh, it just sort of becomes necessary, uh, it, or at least convenient in some of these cases to round. 12 times 30 is 360, uh, and so this is going to make my life a little, little easier here. So now I can go ahead and pull out my calculator and say 1.00667 raised to the power of 360, make it negative, is 0.09. Uh, 1, 3, 3, 4, and that I'm going to subtract from 1. Oh, how am I going to do that? Uh, I'm actually going to be a little sneaky here. I'm gonna just going to subtract 1 from that. But of course, that gives me a negative number, and this isn't supposed to be negative, so I'm just going to change the sign of it. That was a very sneaky trick, by the way. Feel free to just write it down and subtract. So now I'm going to go ahead and divide that by 0 0.00667, and all of this mess ends up being about 136.232. So we end up with 500,000 equals D times 136.232, we divide, we get 500,000 divided by 136.232 is about 36.70.21 per month. Now, it's interesting thinking about how much of that money is coming from interest versus from the original 500,000. So let's take a moment and calculate that. So to figure out how much of this is coming from interest, we can ask ourselves the question, what is the total that was taken out over the 30 years? Well, we took out $3,670.21 each month. There's 12 months in a year, 30 years that we're talking about here. So all together, we took out $1,321,275.60, roughly. And how much of that was from the original amount? Only 500,000 of that was from the original amount that we started with, and that means that everything else that's in there, the other $821,275,060, is from interest. Wow, that's a heck of a lot of interest uh, that was earned over those 30 years.